and welcome to the Night Sky with Naz. I'm Naz and this, this week I'm going to be showing you how you can find Mars, the red planet. Mars is a really hot topic right now and that's because NASA recently landed a car-sized rover on this planet that is currently about 245 million kilometers away. It's a really long way away but there's a car-sized little machine driving around on this planet currently uh, doing lots of little experiments and allowing us to find out more about this planet. So this planet is around half the size of our planet, Earth, and it has two moons instead of one. So its two moons are Phobos and Deimos. So it's a really interesting planet and it does look red from here on Earth as well. So its surface has a lot of rust on it. Um, and that's why it can look a little bit red, but if we're looking at it from Earth as well, it is red to our eyes when we're looking at it from our back gardens. So I'm going to be showing you how you can find Mars. The planets can be fairly easy to spot in the sky because they don't twinkle in the same way that the stars do. The stars tend to twinkle and sort of flash in the sky, but because the planets are much closer to us, they don't twinkle in the same way. So when you see them in the sky, you can generally tell that you are looking at a planet. And like I said, because Mars is red in our skies, it will be really easy to spot. And it is currently in our skies as well, and that's why I'm going to be showing you how you can find it. So I'm going to be using a app called Stellarium to show you how you can find Mars. This is a night sky simulation app that you can use to help you learn to navigate around the night sky. So as you can see, we are currently looking at the daytime sky. The sun is still in the sky there and we want to be looking south. So you can either use a compass um, to find which way south is or you can look at the, the direction in which the sun rises and sets. So the sun rises in, in the east and it sets in the west and if you can keep uh, an eye on it throughout the day and watch where it rises and sets, you'll be able to find east and west and from there you can find south. So once we've found south, we're going to fast forward time on Stellarium here and it's gonna take us through into night time. So you can see it's getting darker, and as it gets darker, the stars start to appear. And what I'm going to do now is reveal the constellation lines and labels so you can see what constellations you're actually looking at. And we're going to be looking at the constellation of Orion. So we're going to zoom in on Orion here. And we're going to be using the star in the bottom right-hand corner called Rigel. So once we've found this star, Rigel, we're going to move diagonally up into the top right and we're going to be going to a star called Aldebaran. So this star, Aldebaran, is the brightest star in the constellation of Taurus and it is it does also have a slight orange tinge in the sky as well. So once you've found these two stars, you're going to draw a line between the two and then you're going to keep going with that line and as you keep going, it will lead you eventually to around about where Mars is. So now you know how to find Mars in the sky, you can head on out and find it and look at this whole other planet, it's 245 million kilometres away where we're currently doing lots of little experiments to find out more about this red planet. So head out, if you do head out at night, make sure you take an adult with you and happy observing!